Let's talk about it. You know, there's uh, bullying, uh, physical and verbal, uh, and then uh, also cyberbullying. Uh, and bullies, uh, they will uh, sometimes uh, just uh, pick uh, one, two, or maybe all three. And you know how schools uh, say there is uh, no bullying policy and uh, we all treat uh, all uh, students equal and uh, we help them. But no, there's a lot of, uh, in the Western world, they use the uh, their uh, picky towards the uh, A certain uh, group of students uh, and also bullying uh, they don't really get fixed uh, and uh, the victim also gets suspended if the bully does something to the kid and the victim decides to fight back because in the hallway uh, of course the bully uh, tried to uh, whether they're making fun of the, the victim's uh, looks or uh, or how they're uh, dressed or uh, or they're trying to demand their lunch money or or since uh, they're weaker or maybe they're labeled a nerd uh, they will uh, pick on them and the kid uh, gets at, and it goes for on a few days and uh, and the kid decides to uh, fight back. And, uh, you know how guys they hit the guys or you no know, you the taller guys uh, and then the uh, girl uh, may think say some stuff about other girls and uh, or or to get up in their face uh, and uh, And then maybe they touch them uh, and they're agitated about it and then the victim fights back. In self-defense, uh, they're trying to get away from the fight. That, But the, the bully keeps uh, bothering them and then they have to like hit them back, unfortunately. Otherwise, uh, they're helpless and uh, they'll get beat up. And then a teacher or a staff member or faculty will see this and they'll uh, take the bully and the victim to the principal's office and then you know what happens next. Both uh, gets uh, sent home. The bully gets a vacation and the victim uh, misses uh, at least one or uh, how many days of school. And it's not even their fault. Because we've all heard of like a race, racism or uh, maybe op offensive stuff that, that also happens to uh, people whether they're a certain race or maybe they're religious or regarding LGBT, uh, their sexuality. Uh, and maybe they get bullied for that or maybe they have a certain... Uh, medical or mental uh, problem that they may not to uh, take uh, pills or they need special help they get picked on and uh, the bullies uh, of course they'll prey on those kids and you know what those uh, kids from a different race or uh, different religion or beliefs or sexuality uh, yeah they uh, get picked on And while uh, special uh, posters uh, or symbols uh, not notifying there is a student who is uh, autistic or 
Also, they put up the rainbow flag for uh, those the LGBT students uh, to feel more welcome. Uh, Unfortunately, there will be students uh, who uh, just target uh, the students uh, for other reasons. Uh. Well, uh, if uh, one student says a certain uh, saying, and another student and uh, Chances are uh, the school might not understand it until, uh, unless the uh, victim explains what that means. Uh, and it's not a like made up term. It, it's a racist term. And uh, if the school understands, uh, they'll make the bully uh, write an apology letter and uh, you probably and the bully probably won't do it again because uh, and if you are in a school uh, where there's a lot of diversity of uh, students uh, from different uh, races and uh, different backgrounds uh, you, know, you might be lucky but uh, if you're a st student that only like only one or two are uh, different from others uh, you might have to deal with a difficult situation And while some people will uh, also, some bullies will probably use uh, certain uh, differences uh, as an excuse to uh, get you in trouble. Whether you actually mistook their sexuality uh, instead of uh, they say uh, that my name is whatever name is, and then they're saying, uh, I am uh, whatever whatever they say uh, they are the LGBT thing but if they didn't tell you first and then you uh, just uh, mistakenly said it and then they'll try to blame it on you and uh, get you in trouble in that situation And there's a you we've heard about the what the African Americans uh that thing that happened in the old days that uh, the U.S. Uh, had a civil war North versus South, free the slaves, uh, keep the slaves. That situation. And there are people who uh, still feel oppressed uh, about uh, ancestors and uh, if you don't uh, support a uh, certain something and then uh, they will, you'll get bullied about it. And then there's also this political stuff that if you don't like a certain politician, uh, you also get bullied for that too. and. Uh, And watching this uh, all unfold, uh, even uh, some uh, teachers that uh, can be biased uh, or uh, or they can be only uh, one-sided. Uh, what they uh, have their uh, beliefs, uh, they think uh, this is uh, correct, and uh, whatever student that uh, thinks that this is correct, they'll defend that student, and uh, they don't. Uh, have uh, some respect for the other student, uh, or may maybe that teacher is racist. We have had that occasion, uh, or that happened uh, 
appeared there. Or, uh, it showed up on news that uh, the teacher, teacher that doesn't like the student uh, because of uh, his or her race or uh, what they're eating or or treat them differently. And then there are the kids, uh, classroom, the uh, kids uh, who are like friends with that uh, student, uh, they get concerned about this and they tell the parent of that kid. So why do uh, teachers uh, get away with this kind of stuff and then principals, they don't really do anything about it. But not all schools uh, act like this, so but so keep that in mind. But unfortunately, there are a lot of uh, schools that uh, they ignore their no bullying policy and they will just uh, wave it off. And why does the victim have to pay for it? Uh, we could literally just have someone uh, come in. Uh, this is why we have. Uh, child and youth care workers or who come into schools uh, to uh, help kids uh, who are troubled or having to deal with bullying and then they, they can uh, discuss this helping the schools system uh, do better and the fact that we have to re rely on child and youth care workers uh, or other people who uh, aren't from the school but they work with the schools. Uh, the fact that, that we have to have to bring these people in, uh, it is just concerning that uh, what the education system is like. and. Uh, they could also do something as though they could investigate question a bully, question a victim. What caused this to happen? Now, uh, why did you why did you do it? And the victim, how did you respond? Why, why do you think did this think uh, you wanted to respond this way? And of course, the bully uh, deserves to get punished uh, for uh, what he or she did. And maybe if a uh, faculty of a school, like, like teachers or a staff member, uh, they, uh, if they were choosy, uh, yeah, they also deserve to uh, pay for it. Because there are students, the teachers out there who uh, have this favorite student, uh, and they're like, I don't like that kid. So they will also bully that kid. So. so if the Western the schools actually did better and actually uh, listen, stuck to their no bullying policy, uh, we parents wouldn't have to come in and uh, talk about this or say I'm homeschooling my kid or choosing a private school, which is expensive uh, but over here in the USA and Canada, but but it's a uh, it's a plan B or plan C. So if you're an educator, you know, Yeah, step in. Push the bully and the victim aside, and uh, talk, discuss with uh, both both sides, and um, and help them make the decision there. Because the the victim does not deserve to have to pay for something that he he or she. Had to do self-defense for. And they have every right to uh, defend themselves.
if they have to. That's why we have uh, I've heard of uh, school shootings. Uh, When you don't tell help your students uh, present them that turn them from their good good from great students to uh, what people like to say villain arc. And luckily, there are educators out there who uh, do agree with uh, a lot of uh, people uh, who do think that schools should schools should do better, actually support kids uh, who are being bullied, and instead of just waving it off and uh, let the bully uh, take a vacation away from school and the, the victim paying for it for something they didn't cause. And didn't start. Because if you didn't start the fight, and you, and if you have to d defend yourself, yeah, why should you have to pay for uh, something that? You know? Schools do better. <laughs>